share this simple thought with you and the purpose of this and it is, as it is critical for the kingdom that we understand God's word. Would you give that with me please Deuteronomy 30 and you can remain seated. I just want you to read. <laughs> If that, 
<laughs> command you this day to love the Lord thy God. Make loving me a priority. Make loving me something that's not something you take advantage of. I want you to seriously investigate loving me. Love me and don't just make my love a priority, but also then walk in my ways. Which means if you're going to love me, then yield the government of your life to me. Do not decide you're going to do it your way. If I'm going to love him, I've got to give him the government. Can I help you? The Bible says you have to fight the conflict of your mind about your way. Are y'all hearing me? He says it this way. Of the he says, there is a way that seemeth right. I'm tired of seeming like something right. There's a way that seems right, but the end of that way is always death and destruction. How many of y'all have done something? I thought that was the right thing to do, but once you did it, where the, where the folk gets so I know where the preacher this morning. I, honestly, I thought that was the way to go. But once I went that way, man, I wish I had never turned that way. That's the difference between guessing what's right and getting before God and finding out what's right. That's good. That's good. The right way always requires relationship. Wow. The other way is a guessing game. And guessing is expensive. I don't need everybody. I just need three people right there. Guessing is expensive. You don't guess the way there's some stuff. You're still trying to figure out how to get out of it. There are folk in jail who guess it with the right friends. I can't get no help in here. Somebody got a disease right now. I guess that was the thing to do. Y'all ain't saying nothing. There's some people you can't look at right now because you guess it was a good idea to go out with them. By myself here. Oh Lord Jesus, I might need a ride over. Listen. <laughs> Guessing has always messed you up. But if you if you learn that he has the government of my life, can I help you? You gotta get tired of messing up. You gotta get tired of you and decide that I want to do it his way. I might not get everything right, but I sure want to get the stuff that he wants for me right. I want to do it God's way. How did somebody tell him, I got to do this God's way now? I think three people that did it the wrong way to tell them, somebody tell them, I got to do this God's way now. I want to love the Lord my God. I want to walk in his way. Watch this, because he gives two big things. He said love and walk. And then, notice Stephen said, he now takes, if you will, a compartment of things. He said, did you get the loving and walking right? Now check this out. Then he said, well, I said, now I want you to keep my commandments, keep my statutes, and keep my judgments. The other things were independent, Jehovah, love and walk. But when he got to this point, it was a succession of things. Keep my commandments, yes, keep my statutes, yes, keep my judgments. Yes, All right? In other words, let whatever I say, let that be it. Keep my commandments, not my suggestions. Keep what I said. Let that become the direction you're going to go. And then he said, keep my judgments. In other words, stop second guessing what I said is going to work. If God said it, that does settle it. Hello? It doesn't matter if I mean it or not. It doesn't matter if I agree or not. If God said it, it if he said it, it does settle it. Some stuff you got to leave alone because God said leave it alone. And stop trying to explain it to folks. Why you got to? I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do that no more. Why you can't? I'm sorry, I ain't got time. God said it, it's not healthy for me. Come here, somebody. You better stop fighting God about what He said is healthy for you. We'll be up trying to negotiate how I'm going to still do something that God already told you that it's healthy for you. But I'm not going to stay long. I'm just going to go a little while. It's not healthy for you. Well, I'm not going to talk to her longer than it's not healthy for you. Paul said, all things are lawful, not all things are expedient. It might not be good for you. And I don't care if your neighbor and your friends say, don't bother me. It ain't you, it's me. How many of y'all know some stuff you fight with? It's just your fight. Stop dealing with stuff that don't bother somebody else. It may not be their fight. It's not their struggle. Y'all ain't helping me 
in here right now. But if it's your, if it's your contention, if God says God help me with you, you have to leave it alone. Why? Because he judged that it's not right for me. I got his commandments, I got his judgment, and this is the part that got me when he said to keep my statutes. I only have seven minutes left. Keep my statutes. Because statutes means principles. Come on, I love this. Not just what the law says, but the principle of the law. You know what I mean? Law has a principle behind it. And he, that's why Paul says it's lawful, but it's not expedient. Because even though the law says not to do it, the principle still says it's not right. Well, that ain't in the Bible, but his principle teaches me that he doesn't agree with this. Y'all ain't like it, me. Well, I think I don't think I'm wrong with it because you know I, I'm human. And I think I, you know, and, and God made me this way. And, you know, it's not my problem that I got this problem. It's not my fault that I like another man. Excuse me. The principle says it don't make sense. Oh, here we go. Hold on tight. I just like her. Uh, she understand me. Yeah, but you and her are the same. Check. I'm going to be depositing one check while somebody else is dropping off another 
Scripture. Y'all ain't saying. 